there, Sandra here from Create in Spain. The other day I put out a video on the Arteza gouache colours. I have a set of 60, but I didn't show you the metallics. And this is what they look like on two different colours of card. Sorry, I forgot to swatch the green one on that one as well. Now, the one thing I would say is that the scarlet isn't exactly what I would call scarlet. It's more like a rosy pink. And that one, for some reason, doesn't seem to be quite as shimmery as some of the others. But they're very pretty colours, and since they come in the set of 60, as far as I'm concerned, that's great. I put some pearlized paint on here and allowed it to pick up the colour from underneath, so you get this kind of mystical look. These were done with the straightforward metallic, so you have the pearl rose white, you have the gold and you have the bronze there. And I also stamped the sentiment with a different colour as well. I can't remember which colour I used for that one. The card I'm going to do today, I've got my front panel underneath this stencil and it says Happy Christmas, as you can see. And I've just taped it down onto my silicone mat. And I've got three colours I want to use. I decided I wanted something cold and frosty looking. So I've got ice blue, sky blue, and silver. So I'm going to actually start off with the ice blue, I think. And I'm just, oh, that's a, such a beautiful pale color. I'm just gonna put a bit of this on my brush. Now, it could well be that this gets tainted with something I had on there previously because I haven't cleaned my brush off. We shall see. But I just want some variation of colour across the paper. So, you know, it really doesn't matter too much. So, that is a very, very, very pretty pale blue. So this one is a sky blue, so a little bit deeper. And I think I might join it up with another blue, actually. I think I might go for, oh, this one's actually a pearl, pearl aqua blue. Again, really, really pretty color. Um, you notice I'm not bothering to clean my brush in between wells because I'm blending on here. It doesn't make any difference. It'd be different if I was doing reds and blues, but I'm not, so. Okay. Oops. And then I'm going to go over parts of it with the silver. So I don't want much. A couple of little dots will probably be enough. I just want to use this to give it a little bit of a shine. So I'm not really blending this one, just sort of streaking it through the stencil. There we go. Now I have some letters cut out and it's the happy Christmas. But what I want to do is I want to put them in here and I want to raise them up a bit. And I want to have them in a different color to this, obviously. Now I haven't decided what color I want to do these letters still, but I have decided that I want them raised more than they are at the moment. So I've put my card onto a blue vase and I've cut out some letters in foam. Now this is a self-adhesive foam, so it's really convenient. I can just take them from the piece of foam here and just put them straight down onto my card. I decided in the end to cut some self-adhesive foil for these letters. I just thought it would add a little extra oomph to the card. Now, if you don't have a self-adhesive foil, you could use a glitter paper if you wanted to, or a glitter card. I could have even cut this out in a glitter foam, had I thought about it, which I didn't at the time. 
or of course you could just put a load of glue on and add some glitter so you know you don't have to do it one way or another so I'm just going to put my glue onto my foam and then stick my letters on and that's going to really make them stand out and they'll stand up and be really three-dimensional which is a bit of fun. The card itself is a very very simple design so it's nice to have something that makes it a little special. And of course I'm not going to leave it at that am I? I'm going to end up putting some gems on it. My card is now finished, I've added a few gems and there we go, you can see it's pretty blingy. Now this is a relatively simple card to make, the only thing that makes it relatively complicated is adding the layers to get the dimension here. As I said, if you can cut it, if you have any, you can cut it from the foam and that will definitely be a lot quicker, it certainly was for me. If you don't, then you're just going to have to die cut the words a few times to get that nice rise on it. And I would think that's probably about three millimetres in total. So quite a good depth on it. Now, as far as the background goes, you could choose any sort of stencil you like. I've just gone for one which has got a general pattern background. But you could use stars, you could use dots, you could use snowflakes or anything like that. And it's just a case of cutting the words out. You don't even have to cut them out of the base. Now the reason I did that is because it made it very easy for me to line them up when I was putting them on. There was no problem with making sure I had all my letters straight and things like that because I knew where they were going. So there we are, that's my second card I think done with my new paints. I'm loving the uh, Arteza gouache paints. If you have some very, very um, dark colours, you might need to add a little water and maybe put it onto a surface, like you would with an ink pad, and maybe add a spritz of water to dilute it a little bit. But you use so very, very little colour to get a really good background from these. It's brilliant. It's going to save me a fortune on ink pads. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope you have fun making them. Take care now.